the SAMR model is a way of looking and analyzing the use of technology in education. SAMR stands for Substitution, Augmentation, Modification, and Redefinition. So let's take a look at those each one at a time. Substitution simply is a one-to-one -one replacement. You replace the horse and buggy with the car. You replace the typewriter with the computer and word processor. Basically, nothing changes. You've simply gotten a new toy. With augmentation, the new toy can do more. So, to use the typewriter analogy, it's a lot easier to bold. For those of you who are as old as I am, remember that bolding required you to back up and retype a letter once or twice to get it bold enough. Uh, underlining required backing up and typing the underline key. Um, Augmentation allows you to do more faster in a better way. It doesn't necessarily change what you're doing in a significant way, but it does uh, allow you to do it better. Modification means that you can take what you're already doing. Your new toy can do something that couldn't have been done before. So keeping with our typewriter word processor analogy, now you can add pictures. Adding pictures to type pages uh, was quite literally cut and paste. Uh, I can remember doing some papers with graphs and charts and whatnot that quite literally had to be hand drawn in or copied somehow, and then cut and literally pasted onto the paper. So now, you can, now you've gone beyond what you could ever have done before with the old toys. You're doing something new. And rede redefinition allows you to do, starts allowing you to do things that have not even been considered, if not impossible, uh, such as creating documents that contain audio or video. Um, so let's go through these again, taking a look at a technology we've talked about a bit in this course so far, and that is the document camera. At the substitution stage, the document camera replaces the overhead. You're not doing anything different. You're still putting the document underneath the, the overhead. It's being projected on a screen. You're talking about it. Now, in the case of, and I'm taking this mostly from the in tr trades sort of area, where they do a lot of work with code books and whatnot. So you now you've got your code book there, but instead of a photocopied page from the code book, now you've got the code book, and you can demonstrate how you can bookmark uh, the code book so you can flip back and forth between the pages easily. I've seen some instructors who've used L-shaped bookmarks so they can easily uh, find what they want on the charts. So you can start demonstrating how to use that code book as opposed to just showing it. Now the modification would happen when you realize, hey, this document camera is showing all this. I can record this. So you start recording it so it's available for students who are absent. 
uh, or for students who want to review for exams. And so this is, you're extending it. The final step with a document camera would be say, hey, you know, I'm doing a lot of this stuff in class. And I really don't have to do it there. We can flip the classroom and the students can watch this beforehand. Uh, and then come in and they can simply apply it in the classroom. Uh, or the whole course could be done online. So, you know, this is one way of looking at it. Now, I would like to emphasize that higher does not mean better. Um, some of the materials in the readings, if you ch check out the right ones, some people seem to think, that redefinition is better than modification. Modification is better than augmentation or substitution. Um, one of them, you know, is really down on substitution. Don't take that point of view because there are a lot of factors that come in to that. There are some things which really are hard to change because it, if you're teaching a hands-on course, there's no way you can take that online. Um, and so don't view, don't view things negatively because they're lower down on this list. It's just where they are at that point. There is normally a natural flow up until you get to the point that it works best for your program, your course, your lesson. And if it works best at the modification stage, leave it there. Don't force it into redefinition. Maybe all you need is argumentation. So why force it into, you know, up into modification? These are just different ways of looking at the use of technology. It's not saying you need to force the issue.